Welcome back, Spain, to your Caribbean Data Science channel. And a big shout out to the four people who did view this video yesterday. Thanks so much for those views. Uh, before we get started, I have a favor to ask. First of all, of course, as always, you know, click that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed so far. Secondly, click the like button. You know, you know, you know how uh, YouTube likes uh, likes like but like likes likes. Okay. And third, and I'm going to say most important not to grow to growing our Caribou Data Science channel. That's right. This is your channel as well as mine. Okay. Most important thing we can do in order to in order to you know, spread the good news of this channel is click on that share button. Copy and you know, and share this video it's on Facebook and Twitter today. You can also, of course, copy and paste a link. And cut, you know, and cut, you know, paste it into an email or text message, and share it with your friends and family that way. Okay. Finally, before we get started, just, just a reminder that uh, that uh, that Spain does not record COVID-19 cases or deaths on the weekend, but instead adds Saturday and Sunday numbers onto Monday's numbers. Okay. Okay, let's go back up here now and see exactly what your situation is, Spain. Well, let's see. Currently, you have about 4.1 million cases, 81,000 deaths. A decline in uh, mortality rate simply means that the ratio of cases to death is increasing. We see a perfect example here. Okay, an increasing number of daily cases. You can see on July the 13th, there was 4,000. 4,000, uh, 40, 43,960 cases reported. For the seven day period any July to 8th, you were averaging 25,888 uh, cases per day. But notice here, notice the decline in uh, daily deaths. So you can see that the ratio of cases to deaths is increasing. That, that, that's, that's where the lower mortality rate comes from. Okay. So you can see here on, for, for July the 13th, uh, Spain reported 13 COVID-19 deaths. And for the period, for the seven-day period ending July the 8th, we were averaging 17.4 deaths. Now you can see here the problem is this, uh, with weekly cases. Uh, well, this is this is this week. So this week has almost caught last week's cases so far. I think that's this week's cases. If this is correct, then you have you have you have you're riding a three week high in uh, in, in in cases. Okay. The good news is the continued downward trend in deaths. You know, we saw it in daily deaths, and now we're seeing the same downward trend in weekly deaths. You know, July is is already is already the uh, well the third most cases since back over here since uh, January of 2021. But you can see one, two, three, four, you, you, you're riding a four month decline in deaths. So that's the good, that's the good news, okay? That's the good news you wanna share with your friends and family. Deaths, COVID-19 deaths are continuing to decline in the country and Spain today, okay? Anyway, Spain, thanks so much for stopping by. Hey, don't forget to click that share button, share the video on your Facebook and your Twitter accounts. Also, don't forget to click that share button, copy and paste the link to this video into emails and text message, and share the news with your friends and family today. Thanks so much, Spain. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.